Abortion is one of the most highly debated topics in the United States today. Abortion is the act of terminating a fetus before it is born. I consider abortion to be unnecessary in many cases because there are other alternatives. According to negative abortion experiences, predictors and development of the post-abortion, psychological, and relational adjustment scale. A 2018 article published in Issues in Law and Medicine, some women who had abortions suffered post-abortion anxiety, depression, PTSD, and some resorted to substance abuse. Abortion is one of the many ethical questions we face today. Abortion can prevent a child from living in a digit knob and can make the parent's life easier, but it's also the deprivation of a life. Abortion is one of the many ethical questions we face today. I believe abortion should be against the law because it is the prevention of a life. There are better alternatives and it is morally inacceptable. Primarily, abortion is the unfair prevention of a life. Abortion is essentially allowing someone to decide if another is worthy of living. Abortion prevents a human from being able to contribute to society. While some argue that abortions will take place, whether they are legal or not, comprehensive abortion care in the Chain District of Ghana, an analysis of DHIMS2 data for 2010 to 2016, a 2018 article published in Ghana Medical Journal, found that places with legalized abortion had higher rates of sexually transmitted diseases. Although illegal abortions may still take place, the fact that they are illegal will strongly discourage mothers from choosing that path. It is possible that a baby being aborted, as we speak, could be the next president of the United States or it could go on to find a cure for cancer. Furthermore, there are more sensible ways to counteract abortion. Adoption is a great alternative when compared to abortion. According to the Unintended Negative Outcomes Over the Life Cycle, a 2015 article published in the Journal of Population Economics, the primary religion of a state strongly coincided with the legalization of abortion. Many mothers base their decision on having an abortion with their religion. Adoption is a great compromise because the baby will receive a good home and the mother does not have to resort to abortion. There are many couples that can't have a child of their own and are anxious to adopt. It is common knowledge that the adoption process is very complex, with good reason. But I think that legislation can be passed to make adoption easier and encourage more, more couples to adopt. Moreover, I think that abortion should be illegal because it is morally unacceptable. According to abortion knowledge and experiences among U.S. servicewomen, a qualitative study, a 2017 article published in Perspective on Sexual and Reproductive Health, servicewomen reported that they suffered negative health and emotional consequences after having an abortion. Abortion tends to lead to emotional problems in the mother and feelings of regret. But more often than not, mothers who choose to put their baby up for adoption are allowed visitation if they choose to stay in touch with the baby. Abortion needs to be made illegal across the nation to prevent the unnecessary and inhumane killing of unborn babies. Conclusively, abortion is the question of our nation's morality. Abortion is morally questionable and in most cases is unnecessary. Abortion is not sensible considering there are other alternatives. According to the decision rightness and emotional response to abortion in the United States, a longitudinal study, a 2015 article published in Plus One, over three years, the majority of women that had abortions between 2008 and 2010 were satisfied with their decision. But what if you saw a mother dog attempting to kill a newborn puppy? Life is a gift that I am ex extremely grateful for, and it pains me to see another deprived of it before it leaves again. To what extent do you value your life? 
and what makes that of a unborn baby of lesser value? 